The worst refugee crisis since the end of World War II. Rising sea levels and a global threat from terrorist organizations and more than five years of war in Syria. The world's most pressing problems. This year, presided over by this man, Peter Thompson of Fiji. It's the first time a Pacific small island developing nation has held the one-year presidential role. We will strive to find new methods to sustain peace, to resolve entrenched conflicts, diminish the atrocities of global terrorism, better manage migrant and refugee flows, and resolve the many humanitarian crises. His personal focus is climate change, with Fiji in February becoming the first country to ratify the UN agreement. But the central focus will undoubtedly be the international refugee crisis. There will be two high-level sessions, one led by US President Barack Obama. But there's already skepticism. Most of the signs are that while there will be some limited progress on refugee issues, it's going to be fairly marginal. Uh, no leader is going to risk big, big domestic blowback by coming to the UN and offering homes to thousands of refugees. That's just not politically conceivable. And then the long shadow of the Syrian conflict once again falls over the proceedings. A Security Council resolution could endorse the latest ceasefire, but some fear that meeting could be mainly symbolic. It would be incredible if we would see this year at the Security Council and and at the General Assembly, a common consensus that brings Russia and the United States to uh, an agreement. Those of us who've been working now for almost six years to stop the violations in this crisis are really worried that um, nothing uh, new will happen this week or next week here in New York City. There'll also be a valedictory nature to this year's meeting. The final one for UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Who will replace him is yet to be decided. So expect some lobbying and late-night backroom meetings from governments pushing their candidates. There's a fear that, as has happened in the past, the pledges and promises made in New York aren't converted into action when the delegates return home. So even before the Syria and refugee meetings have started, there's a sense that the UN General Assembly may, once again, be more about show than substance. Nick Harper, Channel News Asia, New York.